So after the news that Mixer is shutting down, many of you guys will be now moving over to Twitch, including myself, and uh, of course getting affiliate status. So you're going to need to make some loyalty badges. But how do you do that today? We're going to go through that uh, very quickly. I've only just learnt myself, but I thought I'd spread some knowledge and hopefully it might help one or two of you. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is go to the top right corner of Twitch and click your profile and go to Creator Dashboard, the third one down here. And once you're in the Creator Dashboard, go to Preferences and then go to Affiliate. That will then bring up this lovely page where if you go under Subscriptions, you'll see a third one down, Loyalty Badges. And as you can see, I've already made my badges uh, going up in different colors. Uh, you can do it however you want. Uh, but if you want to create your badges, you go into this little drop down menu and you choose which one you want to change. So you've got up to one year if you're an affiliate and then as you can see here, you can unlock year two to year eight once you do become a partner. And what you can also do, if you toggle this badge flare, you can actually upload some flare for those who are on tier two or tier three subscriptions. So as you can see, there's a silver and a gold thing, which Twitch already put there for you. But if you want to create your own flare, I haven't actually done this myself, but if you do want to create your own flare, you can do. It's the same pixel dimensions, which we had before for your badges. And a question for you is how do I make these badges? Um, you know, do I go on Fiverr to get them or uh, do you actually create them yourself? Uh, depending how you know detailed you want them to be, uh, you could go for someone who's actually a professional to get your badges done. But if you think you can actually do it yourself, there's not too many uh, difficulties with creating the badge, then you can go on a uh, program such as Illustrator or GIMP. So for me personally, I use Adobe Illustrator. Um, I was able to get that on my PC. Um, and it's a very good program. I do recommend it if you can get it, or if you can get it on trial, that'd be wicked and just get everything done in that week uh, trial. Um, but like I said before, if you can get GIMP or any other free software, that'd be great. Then you can use that in the future for any other creative uh, things you do. Um, but for me, as you can see, it's not a too uh, complicated logo. Uh, I can easily click any of these parts here and change up a bit. So let's give this a bit of gradient maybe. Uh, there you go. Let's maybe not have that one as a gradient, but we'll just keep like a yellow sort of color. There we go. Uh, and then, I don't know, this one, let's just give it a green. It doesn't look that nice, but it's changed very easily. I can, I can morph it into whatever I want. So like for example, when I did the uh, the red one, I got these two as the same color red, and then I thought, okay, let's let's get this one a bit lighter. So we got that red. Then we went onto here and we just brightened it a bit. So not a lot, a lot, but just a little bit. And then we get these two. We get it a bit darker there. Look, there we go. We can go even darker. So we get to go a bit more. There you go. So you can actually properly see that it's different from that color. And then if you want, you can just click that and get the uh, there we go the dropper here. Boom, they're the same color. There you go, click off that. Right, there you go, you got, you got your red one now. So it's not too difficult if you want to go through the color uh, avenue in terms of your sub badges, but it really does depend what you want to do. Like some people have like an egg hatching over the months, which is quite a cool idea. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of ideas. Think outside the box. It's a really good time to get creative. But yeah, do let me know what you go for as well, because I'll be very interested to see. At the moment, these are just my sub badges. I could uh, make something different, but I thought with my logo being so easy to adapt, it'd be a good uh, starting point for myself. So of course you do have to follow Twitch's guidelines for the images. So you've got 18 by 18, 36 by 36, and 72 by 72. Uh, you've got to make sure they're a certain file size. So to get all that right, what I just uh, go on is this website here, resizeimage.net. I uploaded my Im image I saved um, in my documents from Illustrator, but wherever you obviously use it from, you, you find that save file. Upload it here. You can then do a bit of cropping wherever you want. You don't really have to touch this if you've done everything already in the other program. What you want to do though is it, this, will, this will usually be ticked. You want to untick that. And then if you get to put 18 and then 18, there we go. Resize image, download image. Oh, there you go. That's, that's downloading right now. So just to uh, show you that it works all good, we'll go on the flare bit here, which is the same as the, the top. Uh, part anyway and we'll go on to our downloads and we'll go on here and there you go it, it comes in there so it's the right size everything works out fine so I would recommend using that I mean you can do it through the program it's up to you but this is a very handy website anyway if you're using gonna, gonna be using images and emotes and all that sort of thing in the future I do recommend this website resideimage.net 
And finally, if you go into your chat, you will see the badges next to the names. Uh, if you're the, uh, the actual broadcaster, you do get that automatically so you can actually see how it looks. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is how you do it. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will be getting some more uh, Twitch guides, um, industry talk, um, even, some, even some product reviews as well on this channel. So if that looks like your sort of thing, please do hit that subscribe button. That will really help us out. And also hit that like button to get the video to spread around the internet. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching once again. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.